Hi guys, welcome. So, what time is it? It's it's about seven thirty IST, uh, two p.m. Uh, British Standard Time and uh, three p.m. Uh, Central European Time. And you know, uh, a couple of hours ago, I was making a video on um, what the Champions League draw is like, and uh, and Liverpool drew. Uh, you know, Real Madrid, uh, uh, you can talk about the last year's final where Liverpool had all the chances, but uh, Real Madrid eventually came out on top. And then um, we had the 2018 final where uh, where Liverpool fans blame uh, blame uh, Sergio Ramos for the for the for the Salah injury with which uh, Salah couldn't even play properly at the at the World Cup in Russia, and then um, and then while I was making that uh, video, I came across this report on Twitter and on um, various WhatsApp group that uh, WhatsApp groups that uh, Liverpool had been put up for sale by by their owner FSG Group, uh, Fenway Sports Group, and uh, yeah, so I mean it's it's a it's a big, big, big news. Uh, I mean, like uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have thought that Fenway Sports Group would be putting up uh, uh, Liverpool up for sale like that. Uh, you know, um, uh, we've we've recently cha- seen uh, the uh, ownership change hands in quite a number of Premier League clubs. Uh, we we we've seen, of course, uh, being a Newcastle fan. Uh, I'm really happy about uh, the club uh, uh, club ownership changing hands uh, in the last uh, in la- last year. Uh, 7th October uh, 2022 was the anniversary when um, when the ownership uh, uh, change changed hands. And uh, yeah, about Liverpool, uh, it's it's. It's strange. I, I I generally or genuinely thought that it would be uh, either uh, Manchester United, where the 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 anger among supporters is uh, you know quite a bit uh, um, for uh, for the change of ownership. But Liverpool generally, it's been it's been. Pretty decent among their uh, among the supporters. There's no discontent. There's no disharmony among their supporters, and they're they're really happy about uh, how the club has been uh, going along. Of course, this season uh, they they are not uh, they're not performing as as they as they should. Um, they are where they are currently. They are currently eighth in the Premier League table. They have a game in hand. They are on 19 points from 13 games. They yesterday they beat Tottenham uh, 2-1 in their uh, uh, in the Premier League match. Salah scoring twice uh, defensively. It was it was a pretty decent effort uh, by them. And uh, then uh, I I uh, the the report, the the actual report from the Athletic. By the way, I must uh, I must uh, say that these are reports, but this is uh, by a, a report by a by a journalist who's uh, almost every time uh, you know hundred percent right about things. He reports big transfers, big transfers. Uh, he's He's the he's the he's the guy uh, the David Onstein of course I'm uh, talking about and uh, uh, that's uh, that's the that's uh, the report uh, that is there in the Athletic which is overall uh, seen as a pretty uh, uh, you know authentic uh, source of news so according to their uh, article uh, or their story. Uh, um, they have uh, produced a full brochure which they'll be presenting to uh, presenting to their uh, to potential buyers uh, i don't know what the price will be uh, of course uh, chelsea were sold recently to uh, to todd Boley and uh, his uh, his group of investors uh, 
for about 2.5 billion and 1.75 billion on top of that in terms of investment into the club but then there the situation was a bit different because uh, because uh, because roman abramovich was uh, banned uh, by the english government because of his uh, close ties with the uh, with Vladimir Putin and uh, he had to sell the club the actually the club was placed in a I, getting the exact word what it was but uh, they anyways uh, the club had to be sold and it was a pretty hefty price not sure how or how much uh, Liverpool will go for but uh, but uh, yeah so uh, yeah going back to that report uh, uh, a brochure has been you know um, has been uh, has been made uh, the report says that fsg have looked at opportunities in the past but uh, decided against moving forward uh, with the selling of the club um, uh, they they are not i mean like um, them putting the club up for sale uh, doesn't necessarily mean uh, that the club will be sold or won't be sold but uh, the title is of that uh, that fsg have uh, put up uh, the uh, club as in liverpool up for sale um, they have uh, retained two ginormous uh, investment banks uh, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley to assist with the selling of the whole process. Of course, the process of this magnitude would uh, would take uh, quite a bit of time. The due diligence, etc., etc. The interested parties, whether they have the money, what's the background, what would they want to do with the club? That's the that's the kind of thing that uh, that uh, needs to be. Uh, done um, the article uh, says uh, a statement from fsg um, to the athletic read like this there have been a number of recent changes of ownership and rumors of changes in ownership at epl clubs and inevitably we are asked regularly about fenway sports uh, groups ownership in liverpool fsg has recently received expressions of interest from third parties seeking to become shareholders in liverpool FSG has said that, that uh, under the right terms and conditions, we would consider new shareholders if it was in the best interest of Liverpool as a club. FSG remains fully committed to the success of Liverpool both on and off the pitch. Fairly vague statement, if you ask me. Uh, of course, it's been um, how many? 12 years uh, since FSG bought uh, the club from um, not so not so you know popular owners in George Gillette and uh, Tom Hicks uh, so what does that mean for Jurgen Klopp who's been uh, the Liverpool manager for last uh, for last for last seven years um, Liverpool have won um, a lot in his time uh, at uh, at uh, at uh, Anfield uh, you know they they've uh, they have won the Champions League. They have won the Premier League. They have ran Manchester City close. They lost uh, the title by just uh, a single point in the last uh, two or three years. Of course, this season they are struggling. Last year, they won two trophies in FA Cup and the Carabao Cup. Uh, this year, uh, it's it's been it's been a little uh, tough for them. Uh, you know, perhaps the the effort of last season has caught up with them and uh, they are now they are now struggling to bring up that intensity uh, that uh, that is required uh, that is required uh, to compete uh, com not compete but uh, uh, but uh, as you can see in champions league they they've been um, they've been uh, outstanding uh, they lost the first game in their Champions League group uh, to Napoli 4-1. But then, since then, they've been uh, really good against Ajax. Uh, they were they 
they beat napoli their only loss so far this season two goals to nil they they beat napoli and uh, so so i mean it 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 tough to bring yourself to a situation where you can actually uh, discuss uh, what's uh, what's uh, happening uh, with the uh, liverpool and uh, yeah going uh, what will be the price uh, that uh, uh, liverpool owners would be looking for uh, for the club uh, as i said uh, chelsea were uh, bought for uh, how much 2.5 billion um, there's always a danger that uh, guys or the uh, owners that they had previously like uh, George Gillett and Tom Hicks uh, uh, they can come in uh, they weren't the favorites they didn't invest the money of course uh, uh, this putting up uh, up for sale uh, of the club is it down to the failed super league the uh, in terms of uh, in terms of revenues uh, with newcastle doing uh, really well brighton doing well other clubs you know putting in money the qualification for champions league isn't as uh, guaranteed as it used to be liverpool i think will still be in the fight for uh, for uh, champions league this season but going forward uh, there would the competition would be hard the um the fsg group who also own other uh, other sporting entities like uh, boston red sox uh, um, they aren't as rich as uh, some of the other owners like the manchester city owners or uh, the chelsea new owners or even the glazers so so and uh, so let's see uh, what what uh, what happens next uh, with this uh, with this uh, perspective uh, prospective sale of uh, liverpool uh, uh, they uh, you know going back slightly uh, going back slightly we 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 saw jurgen klopp you know talking about that uh, other clubs uh, like newcastle of course i am a newcastle fan so pardon me if i do come across as a little biased but uh, but uh, jurgen klopp was talking about how other clubs have no ceiling he was of course talking about uh, clubs like manchester city clubs like uh, newcastle united psg so i i if you were to ask me my opinion is that jurgen klopp knew uh, what was going on he knew the club's owners were going to put the club up for sale and uh, that's why uh, that's why it was uh you know uh, that why uh, that's uh, why those comments came uh, i think the the failure of uh, european super league to take off uh, um, has has i don't think anyone would admit it but i do think that uh, the failure of european super league to take off has uh, something to do with it uh, uh, this uh, this step that has uh, that has come about from uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the liverpool owners uh, if uh, reports are to be believed which is an exclusive by the athletic uh, and and just going by some some uh, some uh, comments uh, you know uh, liverpool fan comments um, the price that they are saying they would be happy with uh, would be around uh, 3.6 billion which will be more than uh, more than that of chelsea's chelsea was sold for uh, 2.5 billion yes there is another 1.75 billion but that is that is going to be invested in the squad uh, uh, that kind of st- stuff um uh, so i mean uh, who's going to pay 3.6 billion when when you look at uh, uh, organizations like imf talking about recessions and all and uh, i mean uh, do you really think with uh, with uh, with most of the global economy in recession or going into recession in the 
in the next uh, year or so uh, british economy chinese economy us economy all we are all talking about recession and how how it uh, it will affect people uh, going forward of course have we fully recovered from the covid times so um and 3.6 billion is not a small amount to cough up and uh, yeah i mean this is just like uh, that but another comment i wanted to bring to your attention was uh, that uh, liverpool uh, they have uh, spent a lot of money you don't they don't have any debt so when you come in you pick up a club which is well run most of the ground has recently been developed they have a manager in place who 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 knows what he is doing he has won trophies and yeah so you you know that uh, he'll he'll get the best out of uh, best out of the squad that they have and uh, so i mean um, liverpool is an ideal club they they are primed for takeover let me know what you what do you think because i am really you know i i i was basically thinking about the champions league what has happened in the champions league uh, they have drawn against real madrid uh, real madrid and uh, and now this this news comes in that uh, they have been uh, put up for sale by their by their owners and uh, yeah uh, so how going forward uh, next week uh, i think they will comfortably beat southampton uh, they have uh, derby county in the in the carabao cup in the midweek and then we have a break i think uh, during the world cup this story this story will really take off uh, about liverpool being put up for sale there's around 5 6 uh, weeks gap uh, i mean the article says that the that the uh, that there's no guarantee that the club will be sold but these kind of stories don't come out if there's like the old saying goes no no smoke without a fire so i i do think there is a lot uh, a lot to be uh, you know said about uh, this uh, is uh, this story uh, why this has come out now um when we are going into the world cup they could have liverpool could easily have said that there's nothing in in this uh, you know in this sale rumors we don't want to sell the club the club uh, the club is uh, uh, not for sale end of story but the fact that they have kept it open ended is uh, is uh, you know uh, is basically saying they are they are uh, inviting uh, bids uh, just one more thing i'd like to add when we are talking about this particular part of uh, of the sale uh, uh, fsg who own the club uh, they sold 11% uh, stake in the company for 750 million so 1150 million uh, to redbird capital last year uh, and uh, they bought a, uh, a stake in uh, i in an uh, ice hockey team uh, nhl national hockey league ice league, ice hockey team in pittsburgh penguins so 11% of the stake was sold for 7750 million so 11% is around uh, what 1/9th so if we like uh, extrapolate that il- uh, uh one ninth and we multiply 750 by 9 so how much will we get uh, 630 around 7 billion so i mean i don't know how will arrive at, because then if you have offered 11% at a price of around what uh, uh 7 billion let's say uh, for for argument sake 750 billion you have uh, uh, 7.5 billion or uh, 7 billion then uh, would it in the next round would you go cheaper what happens to their stake so there's uh, there's a whole lot a uh, lot of things to discuss out there uh, like what would be the price because uh, this 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 part i wasn't aware of that uh, they last year they had sold 11% stake in the in the in the club for 750 million 
and uh, so but the principal owner is uh, john w henry and uh, who has two uh, co-founders with him um, the chairman is tom warner and uh, they uh, they have uh, other stakes in in um, other entities as well uh, so uh, they they of course uh, they they uh, the anfield stadium uh, they uh, they are talking about expansion of the same uh, ultra fund of course uh, holds around 6575 uh, 75000 people and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, I'm not sure uh, how much uh, capacity uh, Liverpool will will uh, you know eventually get to, but the but the article goes on to say that uh, there are chances that uh, uh, that the capacity will be boosted up to sixty one thousand, which will I think by my calculation make it the second uh, second uh, biggest stadium in England behind Old Trafford. I think both uh, the Emirates and the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium they both of them hold around uh, around uh, around uh, sixty odd thousand, and so sixty one thousand would make it the uh, the second most uh, the second uh, highest. Uh, capacity stadium in uh, in uh, england so uh let's see uh, what uh, what happens uh, with that uh, another aspect european super league i have discussed it touched it uh, touched on it uh, briefly six clubs were in it uh, manchester united uh, manchester city liverpool chelsea tottenham and arsenal arsenal i don't think there's any um, there's any chance that Stan Kroenke will be putting it up for sale. Uh, of course, he is uh, quite a lot richer than uh, the Fenway Sports Group. Uh, they have spent a lot of money in the last uh, last uh, couple of windows. Manchester City, of course, uh, they are uh, they are owned by the Abu Dhabi uh, Group, and uh, they don't need to um, bring in uh, outside investment. The two clubs that I am um, thinking that will put uh, their clubs up for sale, apart from Liverpool, uh, them being uh, Tottenham, because I don't think uh, Joe Lewis, uh, who's the uh, majority owner or the company through which he owns, Enic Group and uh, Liverpool Glazers, <clears throat> once the once the the specter of uh, uh, of the uh, of the uh, super league it ends i think uh, we'll see most of these uh, big big uh, six clubs like uh, manchester united liverpool uh, liverpool of course we are talking about but tottenham uh, these clubs would uh, decide to move away because european super league was one their one avenue from uh, which they could bring about huge investments. JP Morgan was involved in this uh, thing and uh, UEFA, you know, they, they bent slightly uh, from uh, 2024. I'm sure you are aware that uh, that uh, the, the format of Champions League will change. Uh, the clubs, the big clubs will tend to get easier draws uh, from round of 16 as well there will be seeding this there will be uh, there will be uh, there will be uh, there will be uh, easy draws uh, and then money will come in and that's how that's how it will be for uh, for uh, some of the some of the clubs and uh, and i i don't know uh, perhaps and with with the with the economies around the world going into recession, maybe Fenway Sports Group feel that uh, this uh, this uh, this is uh, this is the right time to cash in for the next three four years. They will they will not get the price that they are looking for for Liverpool because no one in the economy would be afford to. Uh, you know, would be in an in an in a position to pay uh, that amount of uh, money for uh, their clubs, and of course, 
the transfer fees will keep on increasing so how how will they compete we have seen in the past that liverpool have had to sell players to buy players this season you saw sadio mane moving on and then david nunez was brought in liverpool brought in a on loan midfielder in arthur or arthur depending on the pronunciation he is currently injured and we see how liverpool are struggling to cope in terms of uh, in terms of midfield yesterday we saw Curtis Jones and Alex Oxley Chamberlain coming on for Liverpool uh, they they need a midfielder they need to sell uh, their players uh, if they really want to sign Jude Bellingham do you think they'll go outright even when Liverpool bought Van Dijk and Alisson they sold uh, they sold Felipe Coutinho and that money was invested into uh the signings of uh, Van Dijk and Alisson Konate was brought in uh, but uh, that's that's just very marginal spending that was done by uh, that was done by Liverpool so i mean um, the transfer fees uh, they 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 gave Mohamed Salah a new contract Mohamed Salah yes he scored uh, a couple of uh, goals uh, last season, uh last night but uh, he hasn't looked his looked at his best yes he'll get rest during the world cup uh, he'll he'll uh, he'll uh, he'll come back fresh uh, for liverpool's uh, assault title i think is gone uh, from uh, liverpool but uh, uh, he'll come back fresh after the world cup uh, for uh, for whatever uh, however much of the season that remains and so i mean you could make an argument for whether uh, liverpool uh, owners should be selling the club or not because as a liverpool fan um i've been watching liverpool I, since i started watching football uh, the first season i watched uh, it was basically they finished second then third second third there was a time then they dipped slightly when rafa benitez came in that was also down to the owners that they had at that time but as a liverpool fan i would be pretty content um, last year they played every single match possible that they could play uh, they got to the final of uh, uefa uh, uh champions league they they played all the premier league games of course no doubting there and they got to the finals of fa cup and uh and the league cup uh so that's 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 one thing um they of course uh, the comment uh, one comment i've got is that uh, they are missing mane i i do think they are missing mane quite a bit uh he's been on fire for uh, for uh, bayern munich he 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 uh, i think i i don't think he scored at the weekend against uh, hertha berlin but uh, in the in the previous match he was he was on fire the 6-2 game that they won against mainz so yeah i i do think that his energy his because he was the he was the trigger for the mane was the trigger for liverpool's press that uh, they did the gegen pressing as it's called uh, by in uh, germany so i think uh, liverpool uh, are missing uh, mane quite a bit but going back to the selling side of thing um, i i just uh, and the european super league and the recession and all i i do think that uh, liverpool uh, of course liverpool tottenham and i gen only think that there could be a you know what you call a domino effect uh, once liverpool are sold i do think that uh, tottenham could be next uh, in line as well i don't think uh, daniel levy or uh, joe louis they want to spend that much money um, liverpool uh, joe louis they there have been some changes in the way uh, in the way that uh, uh tottenham's uh, ownership structure is um some some other family members at uh, uh i think i think uh, uh bayern bayern will bayern will win uh so yeah 
just 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 my thoughts that i think bayern will uh, win comfortably uh, let's see what effect world cup has on uh, on the, some of the teams uh, because uh, if messi neymar and uh, mbappe france Belgi- uh, france brazil and uh, argentina they don't do that well then i think uh, psg could be feeling uh, slightly depressed and uh, I think Bayern will win. So, uh, yeah, coming back to back to Liverpool, uh, uh, there have been structure. Uh, sorry, uh, Tottenham. Uh, there have been some structural changes. I don't think uh, Tottenham have it uh, in them to spend that much money that they can compete with the, the likes of Newcastle. We know how how uh, Newcastle are going. They are currently third in the league. Uh, third in the league behind Man City and Arsenal and uh, they haven't even spent that much yet. As I am talking as a biased Newcastle fan. I've been um, a Newcastle fan for over 20 years and this is the best I've seen. And, uh, you know, going back, I keep harping back to those comments that uh, Jurgen Klopp made that uh, clubs like Newcastle, PSG have no ceiling and... Uh, I just think he knew what was going on. If a brochure is being made for uh, for interested parties to buy, come and buy the club, then then you know that uh, the sale is on the cards. If, talking about Newcastle sales, uh, Financial Express they broke the story, and when it comes to uh, sources, Athletic is one of the better sources. And if there was nothing in this story, then then it probably wouldn't have come out. At least uh, an, uh, a journalist like uh, David Ornstein would uh, would uh, never put his name uh, uh, to a story which is, you know, uh, half-cooked or like that. Um, of course, he goes on to say that doesn't mean sale will happen. It may or may not happen. So, yeah, uh, just to... Just to you know, refer back to some other points as well. Uh, Mo Salah was given a contract. Uh, Liverpool are they they operate in a self-sustainable way. They didn't want to give Sadio Mane a contract. Uh, there was never a, even a discussion about a new contract uh, for Sadio Mane. He just summer came. Bayern were interested. Robert Lewandowski was moving on. They knew they brought in a replacement for uh, for uh, for uh, Robert Lewandowski and yeah so here we are next year Roberto Firmino is out of contract I can't see uh, Liverpool giving a new contract to Roberto Firmino uh, because they need fresh legs uh, Roberto Firmino is I think about 29 30 or around 31 that age. They need to freshen up their squad. They'll bring uh, bring someone in. Uh, they so so and uh, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain is also out of contract. I don't think they'll give him any any uh, new contract uh, the, through the summer. We saw that uh, in order to balance the books, they sold Divo Origi. They sold uh, Takumi Minamino. So. Liverpool uh, do operate in a sustainable way and if it has become apparent uh, with the transfer fees are going through the roof uh, FSG group and with sports group they won't spend they won't spend uh, their own money uh, you know in trying to they I mean, standard chartered uh, their uh, main sponsors their uh, new balance their kit sponsors they uh, they, they are record deals that uh, that uh, Liverpool are signing. So, and uh, they, I won't be surprised if they if they uh, rename their training ground. I, I I'm only speculating here. I don't want any Liverpool fans to get angry or you know uh, you know worked up about the things I'm talking about. But even even other other Clubs are talking about changing the uh, name. Uh, Tottenham, I think, were recently uh, linked with uh, Google uh, buying their uh, Google buying their uh, um, naming rights of the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So I I won't be surprised. I don't think they'll be uh, you know changing the name of Anfield or anything like that. But uh, uh, 
um, but uh, there are uh, things that uh, Liverpool can do to increase. But would it be, would it be, uh, would it be? Uh, I mean, pa- uh, you know, palatable to uh, Liverpool uh, Liverpool fans that uh, the name of uh, of their ironic iconic not ironic iconic stadium being changed. I'd I'd love to hear from all of you as well. What do you think about Liverpool being uh, put up for sale? If you can uh, leave comments, then great. If not, then fine. Uh, I'm just going through some of the comments uh, that uh, Liverpool fans are, re- uh, you know, leaving on uh, Twitter. Uh, some say that, that uh, Liverpool are a perfect club to buy. This no debt, uh, best manager in the world. A renovated stadium, a new training ground, and a squad with a lot of quantity, quality uh, that needs not much of investment. And uh, so, I mean, um, when you look at a club like Manchester United, uh, they spent 260, uh, 220, 20, 60 million on the squad, and they still look awful they lost uh, to aston villa yesterday and they were awful dreadful their stadium is virtually rotting rotting this their stadium needs reworking liverpool don't need that so anyone that comes in if you like basically i'm giving you my perspective if if someone comes in and says that i want to buy if there's a choice uh, between buying liverpool and uh, Manchester United, who would you rather buy, right? My choice would be Liverpool. Why? Because Liverpool have no debt. Manchester United are uh, in debt of around 650 billion. You'll have to pay that debt if you want to buy uh, the club as well. That is leveraged debt that Manchester United, you know, uh, their owners, the Glazer family, when they were... uh, buying the club they took on that debt with that uh, money they bought uh, the club so that that is still there uh, the the sponsors um, uh, you know their uh, main sponsors uh, team viewer they have already said that they they won't be extending their contract which runs out in 2026 or 2027 uh, they won't be uh, uh, renewing liverpool sponsors are lining up for buying Liverpool because there's such a good image of Liverpool. Manchester United, there's protest. There are protests every day. Um, if you go on Twitter and you look at uh, the hashtag uh, Manchester United, every day it would be like uh, Glazers out, empty Old Trafford or something like that. And um, when it comes to price, you can buy Manchester United, uh, Liverpool for a lot less than Manchester United because Blazer family won't, they know it's their cash cow, uh, Manchester United that is, and they won't let go of uh, Manchester United for cheap. Um, so Liverpool uh, is a club to buy, but then again, um, would you, would you, <laughs> not everyone has, uh, you know, two, three billion lying around. Uh, I certainly don't, but uh, but let's see who 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 can who can buy uh, Liverpool uh, if 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 the sale does go ahead uh, and uh, so I mean uh, they uh, the Liverpool owners they bought uh, the club for uh, for three hundred billion in uh, twenty ten. Uh, there have been some uh, incredible moments. Uh, they could have won the title in 2014. Uh, uh, some of the memories of uh, when we sports group. I'm going through. I'm not saying ki, I'm not saying that the Kaval Club will be sold tomorrow or something like that. But uh, just just one thing before I forget. I'm not sure if I've heard uh, another big news uh, in the Premier League uh, that uh, Southampton have sacked. Uh, Raf Hazan Hotel and uh, the favorite for the job is uh, Nathan uh, uh, Nathan Jones of uh, Luton uh, Luton Town manager. He didn't have uh, that good a time at uh, Stoke when he was uh, the manager there. So, anyways, uh, going uh, coming back to Liverpool and uh, 
So some of the memories, uh, they of course won the uh, Champions League in 2019 um, when uh, when they beat Tottenham 2-0 uh, in Kiev, was it? No, they lost in Kiev to Real Madrid. So anyway, uh, where, wherever the final was uh, during that time. And uh, so uh, some of the other memories, of course, uh, Steven Gerrard uh, slipping uh, in 2014 uh, against Chelsea at at uh, Live at Anfield. So they've been um, they've been for Liverpool fans. There have been a lot of uh, good times under uh, FSG Group. Uh, I'm sure if the sale happens, whenever it happens, um, they would be thankful for the times that they brought in because the the decade from uh, 2010 uh, 2000 to 2010 there were there were uh, there were times when um, it wasn't that good i remember in champions league uh, they they were in a group with uh, olympic lyon uh, fiorentina and uh, one more team and they were they were they ended up in uh, europa league so so and Fenway Sports Group came in. They firstly had uh, Brendan Rogers as uh, as the manager, and then they brought in um, Jurgen Klopp. After uh, Brendan Rogers had done a reasonably decent job, could have won the title but didn't. And then um, and then uh, so uh, yeah, um, uh, they won the title. Of course, they would have liked to have. Uh, won the title when the crowd was allowed in the stadium, but uh, incredible run. Um, I'm sure uh, all the Liverpool fans know that uh, that Van Dyke uh, had 70 games unbeaten at home. Um, so it's been a record-breaking time for them. You know, I might sound a bit, uh, uh, I'm not even a Liverpool fan, that uh, it sounds like an end of an era. This, the news has come out today that uh, the club has been put up for sale uh, on a day when they once again drew Real Madrid and uh, in the Champions League. Uh, and uh, But uh, the fans might think that uh, this, this is, uh, this is, the end of an uh, of an era, especially uh, for some of the fans who who haven't seen the tough times that Liverpool went through um, in the 2009 season when they drew 4-4, when they could have won the title, when Federico Maqueda scored uh, scored a goal for uh, goal for uh, Manchester United against Aston Villa, where. All the hopes were virtually killed uh, of a Liverpool title, and then I touched on it. And so it's been it's been um, pretty positive uh, ride for uh, Liverpool uh, in the last uh, twelve years. That uh, Fenway Sports, of course, Fenway Sports Group, uh, they have uh, they have had uh, the uh, you know. Good times as well. Uh, Liverpool uh, brand name of Liverpool um, has helped them as well. One thing from the article I wanted to tell you about the uh, the athletic article is uh, that uh, that uh, upset a lot of Liverpool fans was uh, when during that time um, they they wanted to take the Liverpool uh, brand uh, uh, away uh, and. Uh, use it as a as a franchise kind of a thing so i'm just trying to find that thing so uh, in 2019 uh, the the uh, the uh, the fenway sports group uh, they they uh, they try to take the trademark liverpool name and uh, you know um, the liverpool supporters group uh, spirit of shankly they were they were against this uh, move uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, of the group FSG group uh, again, and of course I would be too. Uh, um, let's not uh, kid ourselves. Uh, FSG are not doing uh, Liverpool any 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 favors. Uh, FSG are uh, 
FSG are also raking in money. John W. Henry, uh, Tom Werner, they are also enjoying, uh, you know, they're also enjoying uh, money coming in. Uh, Liverpool is a brand with, with which most, most, uh, most companies would love to identify with. Uh, Liverpool have made a lot of money. And um, as I told you um, last year, uh, Liverpool scored, uh, sold 11% of the stake in the club for around uh, 750 billion, which which values the club around uh, 7 billion. But I don't think during these times, uh, during these times, uh, Liverpool, uh, anyone would be forking out 7 billion for a club. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so... That's 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 the case. Uh, just just going through some of the other comments uh, regarding the news. Uh, as to what what other things? Basically, um, it's mostly about the Champions League uh, draw. Um, nothing nothing much but uh, yeah so the general feeling is that uh, liverpool is is a good good club uh, good club to be bought uh, no debt as i said uh, reasonable price uh, fantastic supporters uh, uh, good squad salah nunez van dijk although some of them are uh, over the hill, perhaps uh, Van Dijk uh, is around 31, Salah is 30. So, so let's see, let's see what what uh, what uh, how this news goes forward. Uh, a big day for uh, all the Liverpool fans who who first saw a glamour tie against uh, Real Madrid. Do you think Liverpool can beat Real Madrid? Let me know in the comments sections uh section and uh, if if uh, liverpool is uh, real madrid look fantastic uh, i don't know if you've seen uh, if you've seen uh, um, real madrid but federico velverde my god what a player if you find time go and see federico velverde's goal against uh, mallorca where he runs uh, with the ball uh, on his right foot and then curls the shot uh, with his left, he scored against uh, he scored against uh, Celtic as well. Uh, brilliant goal, set up a set up a goal against Celtic in the Champions League. He has been on fire. Uh, Federico Valverde, Vinicius, Rodrigo, Benzema, the the Ballon d'Or winner. Do you do you really think that uh, uh, Liverpool can beat uh, Real Madrid in a two-legged tie? At uh, this time, it would be of course. Uh, uh, a full Anfield stadium and uh, the Real Madrid uh, the tie uh, will be at uh, at uh, Santiago Bernabeu instead of uh, instead of uh, Alfredo Di Stefano uh, and uh, so so I don't know I do uh, is there any other aspect I wanted to touch on about uh, about uh, the about the about the sale aspect, mostly I've touched about it. European Super League, I think, is the is the is the reason uh, why I think uh, Liverpool uh, owners are considering selling. Uh, then uh, there is recession in the economy, transfer fees are going through the roof. So this, these are some of the reasons. I don't think. Uh, with the recession and football industry the way it is, I don't know whether the football industry would be able to cope up. Uh, Fenway Sports Group in the past have uh, shown that they don't want to put in their own money. So that's that's one reason. And uh, failed European Super League, um, I think, is another reason. That was a big cash cow for some of the big clubs. Is Super League over? I don't know particularly, but uh, it may come back again. But 
looks unlikely because they have already made changes to the champions league uh, uh, the premier league have already set out uh, the punishment in advance the teams would get relegated and uh, 12 years you know uh, no one owns a football club forever the owners come owners go and uh, even manchester united owners might, will go one day chelsea we have already seen that uh, Roman Abramovich was the owner. He moved on. Uh, AC Milan. We have seen another big club where the ownership from Elliot to Redbird now. So no one owns a football club forever. And uh, I don't know. Um, let's see what happens in the long run. I don't know whether Liverpool stand to benefit, stay the same, or uh, like the previous owners. in uh, tom hicks george lett uh, i don't know what will happen anyways uh, i think i've rambled long enough uh, thanks for your time i'll see you in my next video if you like the video do like uh, the content please do subscribe to the channel like the video so that it can reach more like minded people and if you don't like the video then let me know in the comments <laughs> i would like i i try to take your feedback uh, on board and uh, we'll catch up some other time some other place till then stay safe uh, i'll uh, see you in my next few videos for now bye